Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Jose Figueroa, the chairman of the Point Center Area Council. I would like to thank everyone for joining us for our first virtual lunch and learn. Uh, today's guest speaker will be Crystal Bathia. She is a PAC board member, as well as the owner of the Riviera Spa and Massage, located in Point Siena. Uh, and to no ado, uh, please <coughs> Crystal Bethia. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you so much, Jose. I said, this is, I'm nervous with public speaking, but I am going to get the information out to the people. I'm here and I'm dedicated. So thank you so much. We are going to dive in and talking about salt therapy 101. I definitely want to give you some good information, especially as it relates right now to the times. I mean, COVID, um, the numbers are rising. There's no real talk of um, remedies and things that you can do to help yourself. And it's important that we try to, you know, combine all the things for self-care to try to, um, you know, get all the benefits that we can to boost our immune system and things of that nature. So um, to write off, as far as the next slide, we can turn to it. Disclaimer, <laughs> it is important to go over these things. Um, nothing here is approved by the FDA, but, you know, uh, so it's important to talk to your doctor, of course, before you, you know, do anything as far as self-treating and things like that, that's the disclaimer. So you do have that there. I'm gonna try to provide the link on here for you guys to just take the information and you can share it with your family and friends because I've studied uh, salt therapy for quite some time actually, um, because uh, my story, my, my daughter had upper respiratory issues and, uh, early off. I mean, she was one years old and wasn't sleeping very well. I tried steroids and all type of things to try to help her I would remove carpet, change my AC unit. I mean, the you name it. So there was a couple of things between essential oils helped us quite a bit and salt therapy just completely knocked it out the box. So it's looking like she was going to have a early onset of asthma and things of that nature. So salt therapy, uh, when we went to the salt room, over near uh, what was it, maybe Winter Park or something like that, that's when we were able to see and reap the benefits, my husband and I as well. Like we sat in a little salt booth room and it was powerful. Like it, it, it's a halo generator, just kind of pushed the salt around. It was a really pleasant experience. And, you know, she got a chance to play in the salt and it had a little playground in there for the kids. It was great stuff. And my husband and I was like, wow, do you feel that? Like it was such a I mean, the salt, as you breathe in it in and the intake of it, it's like, I, I can't explain it. It was like a, like a release of a sort. You don't realize that you're not necessarily breathing as well until you're actually freed up of it. How much inflammation people really suffer from that you just wasn't aware. So, I mean, it, with all things, uh, with, with COVID, as it relates to that, asthma, any upper respiratory, lower respiratory conditions, salt therapy, has been uh, true and tried for many years. So, I mean, I, I can speak for myself that is completely helped my family along the way. And it's one of the protocols we use in my spa to make sure that we all stay well. Everybody before their shift starts, they have to get in the salt booth. So <laughs> just the whole thing. But again, disclaimer, always talk to your doctor about a thing before you, you know, start trying any, anything new. So we can go to the next slide. When it comes to uh, salt, sound, and, and combining, you know, wellness um, in your in your daily regimen, you know, it sound uh, people don't really aren't really aware of that that it can bring the mind and body into a deep meditative state. Um, it helps the body clear, you know, it clears yourself of blockages and things of that nature. So color can help harness the energy of light to boost natural healing abilities, uh, physically and emotionally. It's pretty powerful stuff. So you're starting to see a lot more of that out there as well. Um, when it comes to uh, uh, dry salt, of course, it's, it's calming, that calming effect that I was kind of explaining to you. It's like, ooh, this is nice. <laughs> it detoxifies, it supports the respiratory system, your immune, your nervous, your lymphatic system. And, you know, all of it together, you know, can bring the body into a pretty positive, you know, state of balance. So it's, it's really good stuff. So We'll go down to the next thing. I think people aren't really aware of how halo therapy works with the body. Um, it's, it's an active dry salt therapy. I mean, it's, it's simple. Um, there are three characteristics. Of course, uh, salt therapy, I'm not talking about, uh, what do you say, uh, 
like the salt, the table salt, when you know there's a difference between table salt and uh, this therapeutic grade salt that I'm talking about. I'm not talking about, uh, so it's, it's a sodium chloride. Uh, dry salt is, is super absorbent, of course, and the benefits of it is antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, which I'm talking about there. Um, this type of dry salt is placed in a halo generator. It's a fun little machine. It grinds it up into smaller fine particles in the aerosols throughout the salt room or a salt booth. Two different ways you can kind of find those around. So it just depends on the location what they have. But it aerosols throughout the booth and that's how you get the benefits. So you inhale these small particles of salt and it just, it really creeps in there. And I'm explaining a little bit more about that, but it's pure, it's pure 99.9%, uh, .9%, you know, sodium chloride, which is, uh, is considered a pharmaceutical grade, a medical grade salt that's processed and removes trace elements, minerals, and debris, which you know, most salts normally have like trace minerals and things like that. You definitely don't want to, uh, you don't want minerals and debris in the lungs. So that's why we don't just use any salt. It has to be the pharmaceutical grade, which is really the stuff that you put, uh, you use in the hospitals. Um, you know, uh, they use, uh, you know, the saline bags and things like that when you go to the hospital, that's what's in there is that sodium medical grade chloride. And that's the exact same salt that they use in salt booths and salt rooms. Um, let's see. Yeah, we can go to the next slide. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's all about the purity of it. So um, there's a difference, you know, when you talk about putting, uh, a lot of people think that when you have the Himalayan, the Himalayan salt rocks and things in the house, you know, they have those decorative uh, little decor things that you put. That's a different, that's a different experience. Um, it's not salt therapy, unless you have that hollow, the halo generator. If it doesn't grind that salt up, it's a completely different experience. The salt rocks, however, there's great benefits to those salt rocks. It takes humidity out of the air and it helps emit, um, it helps emit a frequency from like your devices and things like that. So there's a lot of great benefits to it, but it's not the same as salt therapy. It's not necessarily uh, going in and cleaning up. It's just more of an air filtration and you know taking the moisture out of the air, which is a big deal. Um, so going to this slide right here, the coronavirus and halo therapy. It's important to understand that, you know, with the population and, you know, dry salt therapy is halo therapy. I, I try to, because when people didn't know what halo therapy was, so it's easier to just say salt. But it's, it's pr really producing some pretty positive results as it relieves upper respiratory and lower respiratory conditions. Um, as you can see from the picture here, the one to the left, those little black uh, the red is the inflammation, signifies that, and you see the debris, it's particles of dust and smoke and atmospheric pollutants, bacteria. That's what it looks like in your bronchioles of your lungs and uh, the alveoli. So those little sacs that you see in there, pollutants get that deep in. So the picture to the right shows how when you have that salt therapy inhalation, how it just completely calms down that inflammation and it creeps into sacs of your lungs that medication can't even get to. Uh, there's even asthma patients that the, the different like uh, aerosol, you know, medications and things that you take, it doesn't get in those sacs and you still have, um, you know, inflammation and things like that, but you get way more powerful result when you use dry salt. So it does, it creeps into those little areas. You breathe easier. It opens up. So say, you know, people snore at night and things like that. There's a lot of benefits to salt, like even for sleep, because that inflammation kind of closes up those, that pipeline. So when, when the salt therapy is literally like opens and expands that, so you can finally get that fresh oxygenated blood that our cells need to repair. So without, you know, fresh oxygen or the proper intake, our body can't heal itself. So you get a whole lot of other, you know, systemic benefits to it because of course now, you know what I'm saying? The lymphatic system, you are, you know, your cardiovascular, all the things like starts getting effective because now you have oxygenation that it needs for your cells to repair itself. So as far as COVID is concerned, you know, they're, they're trying to do some studies and things right now. So it'll be some more information that the Salt Therapy Association will be putting out shortly because they they can't again we can't say it's a cure but the benefits are tremendous 
and because they you can't take uh, Advil and things like that of that nature right now for COVID because it seemed to be worsening COVID symptoms. But when you take, you know, try something natural, it's a little more powerful. Your body can sustain it more. So what does it say here that I, I did some research, uh, research on this? According to Salt Therapy Association, um, there's a physician named Daniel Leish. Um, he's a veteran pulmonologist. He says it's to it's too early to tell the impact of halo therapy with the strain of coronavirus. But however, it does affect the respiratory and lung systems and dry salt therapy has shown symptomatic benefits from clinical studies they conducted with a patient with cystic fibrosis. Um, so while there's no need to be overly concerned at this time, uh, but being proactive and taking care of your respiratory system is more important than ever right now. So dry salt therapy can impact people suffering from respiratory conditions like allergies, asthma, bronchitis, cystic fibrosis, COPD, and a host of other benefits there. So, you know, just something to, you know, be aware of and to tell your family uh, as far as boosting the immune system. That's really the best way to kind of naturally work on healing yourself, not necessarily attacking the virus, which it kind of does. Um, it encases it. So the salt, when it, it, that's how it discards from the body. It, it latches on and it just, your body naturally discards all pollutants and things like that in the lungs. So I suggest series of these, not just one time going, but you can go, because it's so natural, you can go more than one time during the week. You could try it a couple times a month, but probably by the time you've gotten to your, your fourth, fifth one, like symptoms of asthma and inflammation and, you know, you should be good literally for like, we were good for everybody's different, but when we experienced it, uh, my daughter's symptoms, she was good for six months to a year. And then I start seeing like some, you know, uh, decline in, you know, in her breathing and some of those symptoms kicking back up. We do another series of like four or five and then it's like, okay, she's good now for a year. So the more often you do it is a part of a regimen, something you should kind of jump in there. I would suggest a series first of doing it maybe a couple of times a week for a couple of weeks, get up to your four or five and watch the transformation that your body is, you know, taking on because it's, yeah, it's a lot of great benefits to it and you feel it right away. So it's more of an expectorant. You end up sneezing, um, coughing. That's just really a sign that it's working and capturing what it's supposed to. It's not like, oh God, people cough and sneeze these days. <laughs> they, <laughs> it'll stop a store. So it's kind of scary, but you know, at least you'll, you'll be able to flush that out and pneumonia symptoms, things like that. It really helps. I I've, I've, uh, have a ton of people that we, we run through it in our spa and there's a huge difference. We're going to go to the next slide. And not only does it help with respiratory, it helps with skin conditions as well. Um, there's been scientific studies that the micro particles of the salt is, it, it creeps up underneath, like say scales of uh, eczema and, and things like that. I don't care what medication most people have tried. It doesn't really get rid of eczema. It's, it's a, a skin condition a lot of people are really suffering from. But I've had the naysayer come into the salt booth. I love that. I love the naysayer. I'm like, come on in here. You tell me, did a series, and it completely set into remission. They could not believe it. Like, get in that salt booth. You're in a private setting. Wear as little clothes as possible if you have, you know, you want the salt to get on your skin. It's like an anti-aging benefit as well. So it's, uh, it does, it stimulates, it creeps up underneath those scales because they're ionized salt. So the halo generator ionizes the salt. And because we're all made up of different frequencies, it kind of balances out even on the skin. It's, it's been unreal. It's really good stuff. <laughs> so here, what I wrote down here that we didn't talk about Scientific research has confirmed that the microparticles of salt have beneficial um, influences on the integumentary system. Uh, let's see, increases activity of the skin, ionized channels, and activates um, electrophysical uh, physiological activity that determines the skin's protective properties. So there's that regeneration factor, uh, regenerative uh, factor that I'm telling you that just the, on the derma. Uh, you won't, you won't find a better solution to some of these things, especially for rosacea and it's skin tightening. So that's always fun. <laughs> we can go to the next slide. That sleeping and snoring problem. <laughs> that's what I was telling you. You see the picture over here? Um, the, the first one, that's the normal airflow. But of course, when it's obstructed and it's kind of closed up here, that inflammation of you know soft tissue 
prevents that air and oxygenation from getting through. And this, it, like I said, it's, it's amazing. My husband's a snorer. I'm a snorer too. But, you know, <laughs> but when we go to the salt booth on a regular basis, it's amazing how those symptoms inside, they're just relieved. You're relieved of it. So um, hoping that you get the same benefits that we had. But uh, most of our clients, you know, they swear by it. So not just for me and this benefit in our house. This has been true and tried from the thousands that we've treated in our spa. So it's really good stuff. Sleeping and snoring problems. It says, let's see. Of course, everything. That, inflammation is the root of all evil, my good people. <laughs> it's the root of all evil. Everything is inflammation. So, I mean, to, to, to focus on respiratory hygiene at this point, it is so important. It's so important to focus on respiratory hygiene because you know, it's, it's not talked about as often. And of course, other countries and things are, you know, picking up these things a whole lot faster. They're getting results from doing natural remedies, gargling with salt. Um, I would suggest like a Himalayan salt gargle because it, it, it captures um, bacteria and things in the throat. So it's, it's important to take a warm salt solution and just kind of do that as a daily uh, regimen for yourself before you go to bed at night. That way, all the air intake when you're out in public, this, this mask wearing, you know, and, and taking all that carbon, you know, back in, you want to start figuring out how to use salt as well as a salt rinse and gargle and get the anything that's stuck to any walls out. So it, just a suggestion um, to, as far as like self-treating and self-care. But I love natural remedies and natural remedies. We just, you know, stuff our grandparents used. We didn't always go to the hospital for things, but we tried to find a way, you know, of, of you know, treating, treating ourselves. And it, it was way more effective, to be honest, if you think about it. It may have been terrible to taste and, and to smell, you know, some of the interesting solutions and things we probably came up with our grandparents used on us. But when you think about it, it really worked. <laughs> <laughs> really worked. It's time to go back to the days of old right now because they don't really have a medication that's out that's been approved yet, but it's, it's, it's going fast. It's going fast. But for now, self-treat if you possibly can. So the, we can go to the next slide. Stress and anxiety and fatigue. As far as the mental anguish that we've all been going through, it's been tough watching the news. I mean, <laughs> you know, the numbers are climbing. It's is excellent as far as mental health is concerned. Um, it's there's it's something about the properties of it. It does. It's the negatively charged and high surface energy of dry salt particles empower them to penetrate into the airways deeper, and it bonds with positive ions. And it has like a calming effect. It has a really good calming effect to it, and it's uh, I have veterans um, that I treat with PTSD and things like that, and we give them. We treat our veterans with the salt booth and the treatment. And I've had some amazing uh, feedback from that where at nighttime, I have one veteran that, uh, a couple, that get a lot of anxiety and stress before they go to bed. They can't sleep. You know, gets a little scary for the family because sometimes just that amount of, you know, stress is just, is taxing on the entire family. So when we started, like, look, let's see how this does for your stress levels and all the things that we've been doing documentation literally after his first day he came back the next day and was like um because we treated for acupuncture and massage and you know we started uh, the the salt booth uh, chronicle and he was like what's in it like he said i want to talk to you about something like what's in the what's in the salt <laughs> you know what i'm saying like it was he was like this is the first time i didn't have the shakes i didn't have a high level of anxiety. My wife was happy about that. You know, he was like, I was actually, I felt normal. And, you know, you don't realize you don't feel normal and, you know, what normal really is until you actually feel normal. Like it's, you're calm, he was good. And he was like, can I do this every single, we absolutely, you know, every, every time he comes in for his appointment sessions, it helped him that quick overnight. So again, as, as far as mental, you know, fatigue, salt <laughs> dry salt therapy is is it's worth trying out for yourself especially during this time so not only does it help you physically it helps you emotionally so definitely want to 
try to find a way to incorporate these things um, for you and your family. Do it as a group. You know what I'm saying? You can't just treat yourself. Everybody needs it. And as most of us who are parents, is we always put our kids and, and everyone else first. It's important that you treat everybody. You, you are included. You know, your family and things don't work and function properly without you. So always keep yourself at the forefront as well. Everybody gets treated. We can go to the next slide. This is the fun part. This is the frequently asked questions. <laughs> I love this. I've had some, um, some people ask some interesting things. So I jotted down a couple. How long is a typical halo therapy session? Well, they normally run about 15 minutes in a salt booth because it's a smaller, more controlled environment. So it doesn't take that much salt. But when you're in a room, you might be in there for 45 minutes to an hour because of course it has to generate throughout like a, a five by five, 10 by 10 space. So that's a, a much, you know, bigger facility. But yeah, um, the booth size, you know, booths can hold up to two people, whereas a room can hold up to, you know, maybe six, uh, depending on the size. So yeah, excellent for, for treatments. But as far as the, the length of time, it just depends on the facility, but they'll let you know that. Um, the next one is, um, how should you dress? <laughs> now, uh, we wear, we put smocks around people depending on how much they want to be doused in the salt booths because some of them want to see it snow in there. I'm like, that's way too much salt, but they feel like, you know, because of the times they want a little more, you know, a heavy dosage, but it's only so much your body's going to take in anyway. It's a natural thing. So, and if you have any skin conditions, again, you wear those loose line clothes that way, you know, you get the benefits of it on your skin, you know more exposure, the better. And even if you're coming in there for, you know, respiratory issues, might as well get the skin benefit too. So <laughs> wear spaghetti straps. I have people with bathing suits on and then they get dressed outside. So they kind of turn around in it. It's fun stuff. <laughs> so that's how you should consider dressing. Um, it's, you don't necessarily have to worry about brushing yourself off. I mean, they normally wear booties uh, on your feet. So you're, you're pretty covered there as far as that's concerned because it could get messy in a salt room because they normally have salts all over the floor. That's that Himalayan salt I was telling you about. And it's really just for decor because the halo generator is was pushing the therapeutic grade salt throughout the booth, but the rest is all for uh, just to create an experience, not that there was a, a extra benefit to having it. Uh, let's see how many sessions do you need now this varies based on uh, based on your condition for the best results i would recommend a series like i was telling you about you know some individuals prefer it on a continuous basis just as a preventative measure so that's how we use it you know and the next one is are there any side effects to dry salt no it's 100 percent safe um there's a, a difference uh let's see uh oh there is a difference between your respiratory tract and your digestive you know some people are oh will it affect my blood pressure and all these things no that's a completely different system when you're taking it in you know through your respiratory and breathing um there is no it actually helps balance your blood pressure actually it helps to again all that elimination and removing of the toxins and stuff that's that's the benefit but when you you're eating food and you're eating a different type of salt that's the, you know, your body is going to process that differently. And, you know, you can have those effects of high blood pressure and different things like that. So, but we need salt. We can't live without it. So we can't live without it, even though, you know, you just got to do that in moderation and based on, you know, your nutritionist and doctor, but it's absolutely safe for children in all ages to breathe it, you know, through your respiratory system and for hygiene purposes. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, that. That indication that I was telling you about, that scratchy tickle and a slight cough and a runny nose, and it's just letting you know that it's working. Tissue, of course, is provided in some of these areas, so you don't have to, you know, worry about, you know, making a mess of things. But it's, it's powerful. You won't go wrong with this, but you can always ask your physician for extreme conditions like cancer and things like that. But for people who have like you know chronic conditions and you know cystic fibrosis asthma all those things then salt therapy is your go-to your friend <laughs> when it comes to uh, concerns of dry salt being bad for you oh that's what I was talking about as far as the river so I kind of did both in one there any side effects no like I said no side effects there and again it doesn't uh, affect your blood pressure or anything like that 
you know, particles of dry salt is associated with the respiratory system, removing bacteria, inflammation, and opening up those pathways. So it's just benefit on benefit to using it. So, I mean, again, we, we really want to focus on trying to find ways. Uh, I love essential oils. You know, essential oils is a is using a diffuser is really important as well. It's important that you use um, not just uh, like like therapeutic grade essential oils, and you'll get that through Young Living, DoTerra, Mountain Rose. Those are literally the only um, ones, as far as a diffuser is concerned, that are that I've I've studied this for some time. That are a hundred percent what's in that bottle you can look at the grocery stores it'll say that something is like 100 percent uh pure that's actually false even on the the little store-bought bottles because the fda allows them to to say that it's 100 percent as long as five percent of the oil in there is plant but the rest is all fillers that's why it's not and it says not meant for internal use and internal use is still in your respiratory, you're still taking it in. So it's not, it's important not to use that stuff. I did, and I couldn't figure out how I was hurting my daughter. Uh, it was it was my fault. It was like, I, I ripped up all this stuff. I was using Glade plugins because we love the house smelling wonderful. Didn't realize that that was affecting her respiratory system because it wasn't, you know, pure oils that we were using. I used to use the fake stuff in my diffusers and stuff, and I couldn't figure out why she was having up a respiratory issue. So once you remove that, you know, you start using, you know, pure, you know, products from just those, those three, four places I told you about, that's the best way to go. But if you combine that with salt therapy, that is, that's amazing solutions right now for, you know, well, remedies that you can use for, you know, to try to boost your immune system. So start looking into that. And if you have any questions um, right now, I'm absolutely willing to take all. Well, anybody, any questions for me that I can help you with about salt? Oh. Yes, I have a question. Yes. For the um, the Himalayan salt that you mentioned about like uh, uh, as a recommendation for gargling uh, for uh, the snoring? Yes. Is there, I mean, do you sell the salt that we can purchase from you or is there a particular place we need to get this particular Himalayan salt? No, as far as the Himalayan salt, you can buy that from the grocery store, Publix. Okay. I mean, it doesn't, I mean, Himalayan salt, you can get that from anywhere. And I want you to look up Soleil, Soleil water. It's, it's spelled S-O-L-E. Um, there's a lot of footage and documents on that, on how to make that. You literally pour like a container of uh, Himalayan salt into like a, a water pitcher fill the rest up with you know some pretty good water and let it sit for 24 hours um and you literally just take a tablespoon of that in in a in a cup and you fill the rest of the cup up with just regular water and you just drink that and keep your body balanced um a lot of people and diseases and conditions are linked to mineral deficiency so that literally himalayan salt has every mineral on a periodic table so you want to try to get that in your system as much as possible and as excellent as a gargle like himalayan salt warm water and use that as a flush to get all bacteria from the throat that way if you capture it in the throat it'll stop it from getting into the lungs so do that as, for as a family to just remove anything stop it here don't wait for it to get that far hey, but any himalayan you. salt will do you're welcome Any other questions? <laughs> do you have um? Do you have this service on both locations, or? I do. Both of my yeah, locations have salt booths. I don't okay. have a salt room, so uh, salt booths is enough for two two individuals, you know, to be inside safely. But you know, of course, just family members only, you know, in in there at a time. So it's not we <laughs> sit you next to a stranger. And you're you're stand, standing up or sitting down? No, you're you're sitting. There, there are seats in both. Yeah, okay. seats in both. You just bring a cell phone or a book and you just kind of chill out. But you do have the color therapy and the sound therapy going at once. So we have to come wake a lot of people up. After a while. They kind of fall asleep on themselves. They're like, oh, can I just live here for a minute? And I'm like, I got the next person. I got to clean it out. You got to come out. Here. But the good thing about the salt booth, you guys, is that 
bacteria, viruses can't survive in that environment, in that ionized salt. Everything is captured in the air and is thrown to the ground. And that's why they have, you know, booties and then you have Himalayan salt rocks and things like that because it just, nothing can survive it. Nothing can survive on salt. So it really is the, you don't ever have to worry about closed spaces where that's concerned. And my staff, because nothing can survive on it before the, before they're not only do I have them do it for the benefits of respiratory care, I have them do it because the salt is on their clothes. So before they come in and treat our clients, they have to douse themselves in the salt booth. That way it protects them from coming from outside in and it's on their clothes. That way if anything is captured there, it's gonna die off. It can't survive on their on their material and they can treat our clients safely. So we have both locations doing that as one of our protocols, sanitary protocols. So yeah. I have a couple questions for you, Crystal. Yes. Um, one, um, what were the, the three or four places you mentioned to get proper oils? Um, you yes. just, just at the end there you mentioned, but I missed what they, what they were. There is Young Living, there's doTERRA, then you have um, Mountain Rose. Those are the only three that are 100% therapeutic grade oils, not just Fragrance is a difference in fragrance. Fragrance is literally a mask um, word because they can't put everything that is listed under fragrance. Fragrance has like five, 500 chemicals that they're disguising in that word alone. So when you read the back of your products that you're using for anything, for that matter, your deodorants, all of that stuff, if it has fragrance on it, you want to start ridding all of your products of it. Like start looking into more natural uh, based products because I mean even aluminum and all those things there's mineral salt you can use for deodorant that works for 24 hours you don't have to use you know the some of the antiperspirants and stuff that's out there I use mineral salt and it it works fine you damp the underarm mineral salt is odorless detoxifying way to you know get another mineral intake is through your lymph nodes so yeah, but those are the three as far as essential oils. I started squirreling. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, okay, good. And those are for um, in a diffuser or to wear or like all of the above? Or? All of the above because they're 100% because they're uh, natural. When it comes to uh, intake of oils, um, you want to follow the directions that are on the bottle. I use Young Living and uh, I, I swear by Young Living, but <laughs> I use those internally. I can make capsules with those, just depends. And I use an app. Uh, there's a, a, a app that tells you what oils you can use for certain conditions from A to Z. Um, that, that way you don't, you know, try to figure this out. It's not complicated using oils. You just have to, you know, get the app and follow the directions and be like, look, I got a cold. Pull up cold. And it tells you, you know, you got lemon, lavender, peppermint. You know, those are excellent. Just those three combined for anything allergy related. It just wipes it out. So... And then unrelated, um, with the, the salt therapy, what might be the benefits for a long-term smoker? or Ooh, They got so many pollutants and, and things in their lungs. It starts capturing that stuff. They're going to cough and you know sneeze quite a bit because it's got a lot of cleaning up to do. So they go through their series. They need to do it as a maintenance plan on a regular basis just to kind of repair the body. The body can repair itself and open up those lungs that are probably filling up with a lot of other things. So it's, it's huge. When it comes to anything you breathe, uh, anything you breathe or put on your skin, let's say it takes, uh, this is a study I did, and it's, it takes 20, it takes 20 seconds for uh, anything that you inhale to reach your bloodstream. It cycles, uh, though if you put it on your skin, it takes two minutes to get into your bloodstream. Anything that you put on your skin and anything that you, you know, it literally processes between those two, inhaling it takes 20 seconds to enter the brain and uh, it, circul it circulates throughout your body in 20 minutes, every cell in your body. So think about what you're using from the time you get up in the morning, certain deodorants, fragrance, uh, lotions, fragrance, uh, perfume, fragrance, you know what I'm saying? So we wonder why diet and, and certain things that you're using aren't necessarily working. It's because we just filled ourselves up every single day, early in the morning. Sometimes we do it at night, the same stuff. It's, it's because you're feeding your cells uh, toxins all day long. So it's just when you start transferring over 
I ain't saying go home and discard all your products, but before you buy the next deodorant, try something else. Before you try a lotion, replace it with something more organic and helpful. Um, just as you start, you know, just recycle out with something with a better choice. That way you can get, you know, healthier benefits and you feel, you feel better when you free yourself of it. Like even my perfumes, I use essential oils. This my perfume. I don't use, you know, I can't even handle, you know, and I used to love it. Oh my God, Vera Wang was my thing, you know, but it's like now, you know, the more I learn, you know, you start doing better, but everything you breathe, even bleach, you know, the, anything you breathe in internally becomes a part of your uh, cells in 20 minutes and it just keeps circulating and cycling the more you, you know, expose yourself to a thing. So, and I thought if you didn't bleach it, it wasn't clean. But there's oils, there's things that you can clean with, the natural products that's not tapping your immune system out all day long. So something to take into account. Yeah. Anything else for me? So I just had a quick question. Yeah. Um, so do, do folks need to come in with a mask? And then do they have yeah. to set up an appointment? I guess my two questions. You can walk, we accept walk-ins and most people make appointments. Um, the protocol coming in the door is we, we do your temperature checks. Please wear a mask. If you don't have one, we provide one for you. Because, you know, people just, it's hard getting a hold of those sometimes. But uh, we provide one for you if you don't have one, especially in our common areas. When you get to wherever your session is, when you're lying face down, you put the mask on. Face up. You know, you, you take the mask off, of course, when you face down, getting a massage or something like that. But when you go into the salt booth, you remove it. It's not necessary in there. You want to make sure you get all of the intake of the aerosol of the booth. So you want to get that in. When you're leaving out, you put your mask back on. So just, you know, some simple protocols. But we do sanitize the hands. We do temperature checks at the door. And mask is a necessity. I'll give a quick plug. Um, John and I went and visited Crystal a few weeks ago. Um, she's, she's kindly volunteered to be a guinea pig for us for a new series. We're trying to get off the ground where we go around and visit different members. So um, that's something you can look for on our Kissimmee Chamber Facebook page, probably early August. She, it was going to be early July, but we, our schedule changed. So it'll be um, probably that first Friday in August, which I'm not sure of the exact date of, but you can look for that then. And um, we, um, we talked with her about her safety protocols as well as just her regular offerings and how her business is going and everything. So, um, so that kind I'm of excited. with what we're talking about today. So <laughs> I was a nervous wreck doing that too, <laughs> but it just turned out to be a lot of fun. I was glad, we, yeah, was I was so glad to see you all. <laughs> oh my God. No, anything, anything else, any questions you have for me that if I don't know the answer, I'll research it and get back with you as well. I'm, I'm a student. Okay. Hey. Any questions? All right. Thank you very much, Crystal. We really appreciate Thank you. the information you provided with us. Uh, I stopped by Crystal's office, but uh, she wasn't there, so I have to stop by again someday. Please. Uh, to take a look at it. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for attending this Lunch and Learn. Uh, it was the first uh, for us doing virtually. Uh, we're hoping to do some more. So I'd like to thank you all for joining us. Again, we look forward to seeing you at our next event. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this presentation and enjoyed your lunch. I didn't see anyone eating, though. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Thank you, Jose. Thank you. Bye, everybody.